So you see, first one I'm finding, it says one found. Second one, it says two found. Third one, it says three found. Fourth one, it says four found. Fifth one, it says you have found all the fishes. start with the fish and I'll go to file choose import import to stage find and fish so the picture looks too big so let's make it smaller first I'm going to use the free transform I'm going to use from the corner and you see it gets stretched and squeezed so we need to press shift key to maintain the proportion okay so that's that should be fine size for me now what happens is this is a picture, okay? So this is a PNG file and it comes as a bitmap image, right? Now at this point, we cannot uh, make modifications to this, meaning that I cannot take my eraser tool and erase it off. Even if I do, it just comes back, right? So I won't be able to make changes to this because this is not a drawing that is being drawn inside Adobe Animate. Right. So what we need to do is we need to basically break this apart and make it like a drawing. OK, so if I go to, uh, for example, modify and choose um, break apart, let me select him. OK, modify and break apart. Now it becomes an object so I can actually make changes to this. I can erase it and things like that. But um, we still don't have uh, control over uh, these uh, strokes okay it doesn't look like a drawing that is being created in uh, flash but it looks like just a fill color right so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to undo those couple of steps okay so it's still an object like a, a bitmap image what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to modify and instead of break apart i am going to choose bitmap and trace bitmap okay so what this is going to do is it is going to convert this raster image into a vector image so wherever it says black color it's going to make it as a shape and wherever it says white color or it says other colors it is going to convert those area into another shape so if i just click on this trace bitmap okay so i can simply uh, hit preview just to see how this final result is going to be or I can simply say, okay, we're gonna leave all these settings as default because we just have a simple black and white color. Hit okay. And now you will be able to just select this outline and take it out, see? So now we remove the background of this fish directly, right? And I can also select these inside colors. I can also give different colors. For example, I can simply go to my uh, paint bucket tool. Let's say I pick a uh, yellow color. I can just give yellow color here. That looks weird. I can give uh, pink, right? So I can give orange, whatever color that I want, right? So whatever color that I want, I can apply to these different sections. So now this is no longer uh, a bitmap image or picture. This has become a drawing inside flash or animate okay so now if I delete this uh, image that I have imported this drawing will still remain here so this totally became an independent drawing inside flash it is no longer connected to the bitmap image that we imported fine so now we have one uh, fish Right? So I'm going to convert this fish into a movie clip symbol. Okay, so let's right click, convert to symbol, and we're gonna call this movie clip. And I'll name this as fish. Or if you want, you can name it as fish MC or whatever you like. Hit okay for now. Okay, so we have our symbol here. Now this symbol needs to have uh, one more frame inside it. Okay, so this is the normal state just white color and when I click on this or when I find this fish I want it to change to something else okay now you can do a lot of things in the example that I showed you here with the car when I uh, click on it what happens is it, uh, it just shows that changes its color and it shows that uh, you found me right so there's a text that is being added and the color of the uh, object is being changed so in our case um, we can make this into a color fish instead of just a 
white white fish uh, or you can also make it uh, from dull image to a clear image or you can add a message here like just to just by using our text tool we can add a message like hi there or something like that or maybe it can uh, you can reveal its name right so that makes it as an educational content so you can just put different types of sea creatures and um, you can uh, whenever you click on each of them it just reveals its own name so that becomes an educational content in learning about uh, ocean so um, in my case i'm just going to change create a new keyframe here and i will change its color i will make it colorful okay so um, let me just take my paint bucket tool here and um, let's see i'll give um i think that looks nice okay and we can give multi colors here let's say a light blue okay so one two three and i'll do the same thing here and maybe i'll do the same thing here as well oops okay and here 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 okay and between them i'll choose some yellow okay so one two three four five and one two three four oops okay and between these guys as well if it is difficult you can actually zoom in and work i'm going to pick the same uh yellow again blue again just fill out these missing parts okay and here as well i'm going to use that and I think instead of this green, I'll choose another blue. No, not that blue. Let me see. Yeah, that looks much better, I guess. Um, lips, why not we give pink or red? Okay, something like that. And for the eyes. Okay. How about a darker green for this? I, I don't know. Okay, fine. So something there. So um, the normal state of the fish is going to be just white. And when I click on it, it's going to change its color to uh, this colorful shape. Okay. So uh, we also need to add an action script here. You can go here, actions, stop, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon, and we're done. Okay. So that's our first um, symbol. Let's just work on the background, okay? So I'm going to lock this layer just for now. I'm gonna take a new layer and I will bring um, the other image. I can go to File, Import, and bring it to the stage directly, and that's the background. All right, so here we have the background and I think the size is almost a perfect match. So I'm gonna press Shift key just to make it fit to that entire space perfect okay so now this image also this is still a, uh, just an image here we want to convert this into a drawing inside flash or animate so for that we're again going to modify and bitmap trace bitmap okay so this one has got uh, different colored strokes so we may not get an accurate result but we'll try. If you want, you can actually go take it to Photoshop and just um, reduce or try to make them into similar colors and then try it uh, over here. It would give a better, much better result. So I'm just going to click OK here. And I can just select this background, get rid of that. And let me see if I can just put some other colored background so that we can see um, what's happening here. So let me take a rectangle here and draw that over from here all the way here so there it is we have a nice uh, separation here i can uh, actually lock this guy so that i don't accidentally change that we can just move this fishes to a different place or we can actually if you don't want you can hide them um, there's also another fish here okay so you can just move them to different places 
All right. Now we can give colors as well. OK, so this is going to be the ground. So um, I can just pick my paint bucket tool here. Um, let's say I will give some bluish color here. See. I can give some greenish color. OK, so two different sections. So this makes things much easier for you to trace down these different uh, shapes here. OK, so these, these things could also be green, 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 green. Right. So take your time and make the color that you want. Um, let's say not everything is going to be green. OK, so you can pick different colors um, and color them up. Uh, this background should not be blue, so it should not be green, so it has to be blue, so I'll give some other color here. Let's see if I can give a lighter blue. So that looks same like the one at the bottom, it should not be the same. So let's see. So something like that. OK, so uh, once you give some nice color to everything, it would look nice. So I just want to get rid of some of these extra things. And stretch this to fill up this entire space. All right. OK, so now we have our background. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to lock this. And uh, this drawing that we uh, imported, this one, has to be above the fish, okay, so that the fish can be uh, hiding behind these guys, okay, so you can actually show just this much right there. And this layer is locked, and this layer is also locked, so we just have the fish layer to be opened. And because I have already rasterized this, uh, uh, sorry, vectorized this image, I can actually delete this one from the library, and we just have our fish. Let me bring the second fish over here. And I'm just going to move this over here so that that's also hiding there. So second fish is hiding. And I'll bring in the third one. Third fish is going to be hiding behind the jellyfish. I'm going to bring in the fourth one. That's going to be hiding behind this little sea tree, sea creature, whatever that is. So let's say one, two, three, four. And I want to bring one more. That's going to be fine. So that's going to be hiding there. All right. Now, the next important step is giving names to these um, objects. OK, so if I go here, you see for each of those cars, we have an instance name right here. So it says MC car zero. OK, and MC car one, MC car two, MC car three, MC car four. Oops, I went to four and then went to three. OK, so one, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, zero, one, two, three and four. OK, so we have to give the exact same name. OK, so if you want to change from car to fish, then you need to make sure that you make the same change in the entire action script. So in the action script, wherever you see car. OK you need to change this as fish, okay? Not only there, you need to change it here, 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 everywhere, okay? So if you don't want to change it, you can just use the same name, no problem, okay? So we're starting with zero, and it will keep on going. So um, let me just copy this, and I'll go here. So this is the first fish. Get a paste here, so this is going to be MC car zero. Uh, let's change it to fish, for example. Let's say F I S H, okay, and copy that. I'm going to select the second one, paste here. This is going to be fish one. This is the third one, fish three. Sorry, fish two, I guess. This is going to be fish three. This is going to be fish four. All right. So we have five fishes here. I'm going to copy and paste the action script. 
Control A, Control C, go back here. And let's take a new layer. I can lock this as well. Paste. Okay. Um, we have this text box as well. So we can also create that, which is going to be a dynamic text. It says car text. Okay. So let me just go here, create the text, dynamic text, nothing else. Click and drag. We're going to call this fish txt. Okay, so we need to be very careful on this. Wherever you have given the capital letter, you have to give the capital letter. Wherever you have given the small letter, you have to use the small letter. Okay, so let's choose here in terms of font. Okay, use device fonts. Okay, and now let's just change these names. So wherever you have car, let me see if I give capital F or small f. So yes, MC Fish F capital letter. Let me rename this F-I-S-H. Copy that. Paste here. The numbers are going to be same. So just I need to replace it here. And I need to change this as well. Actually, I can leave these handlers. No problem. Let's see, handlers we can leave as it is. This is for the end. Um, movie clip. So wherever we have the movie clip, we need to change this. This is going to be fish text. Okay, so next place, this is going to be for car, which is fish. Car text is going to be fish text. Car is going to be fish. Car is going to be fish. Oops, not the handler. Fish. Keep in mind, this is F capital. This fish has got F small letter. Okay, so that is very important. Control B. Fish. Now there's alternatively, you can also use a text editor and just replace uh, fish with, sorry, car with fish. That's also possible instead of manually typing these things one by one. This is not too many, so I'm doing it manually here. Now, I think that's it. Let's try, see if it works. Okay, so control enter. Okay, so it doesn't show any errors. Let's see if it works. And if I move the mouse over here, just click. Yes, it changes its color. So let's see. That is one, two, three, four, and five. And now it's supposed to say that you have found all the fishes. It's not saying that because I don't have a new frame to say that. So I'll go here, insert keyframe. I'm going to write here, you have found all the fishes. Let me drag this over. Let's just keep it as it is for now. Okay. So we don't need this dynamic text. This can be a static text. Okay. We also need to check if this um, text is working or not. So let me just click on the first one. No, I don't see the text. We need to figure out what's happening there. So, ta 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 ta. Perfect. It says you have found all the fishes. Very good. Let me select this and um, yeah, fish txt. Did I change this in the action script? Is there a car txt somewhere? Fish txt. Correct. Yes, I think it's because of the color. So the font color is the same as the background color. Let me try now. 
Ta-da! Yes, it shows one. So earlier also it was showing, but the background color is the same as the text color, so it did not, it was invisible. Now see, we have the game here. I'll press control enter. Okay. So you see, first one I'm finding, it says one found. Second one, it says two found. Third one, it says three found. Fourth one, it says four found. Fifth one, it says you have found all the fishes. All right. So if you have any questions or doubts, you can write them in the comments below, or you can join our WhatsApp group or Facebook page and ask your questions there. The links are in the description. As always, remember to like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe and check out our website that is www.reese3d.com for more tutorials. If you want to learn how to create a shooting game in Flash or Animate, you can click on the right side of the screen. If you want to learn how to create an animated button in Animate or Flash, you can click on the left side of the screen. So see you in another tutorial. Have a great day.